Hi, I'm Marcina Hale. And I'm Stephen Apcon. And welcome to Fantastic Fungi Reimagined. We have a great next 20 minutes for you. And we're both executive producers with the film Fantastic Fungi. If you haven't seen it yet, we suggest that you do. Uh, not just see it, but share it. It's something that the world can use right now. And it's one of the top documentaries that are in the on Apple and, and in general. And we want to give a thanks to to Amber Rubarth and to Parmita Pushman, who uh, have made this whole album possible and such a joy to make. And uh, and today we're also working on the last 24 hours of the Kickstarter that is created to be able to create the album. And just like Mycelium and the way that we work together, it's an opportunity for community to come together to support what they'd like to see. And we are really right now at the last 24 hours, and we just received a five thousand uh, dollar matching grant. Matching grant. Thank you to the Laura Welch Family Foundation. And so, with this, it actually puts us with the match right at our goal. We just need the other five thousand to exactly. create the match. So we uh, really encourage anybody to participate, become a part of this amazing project, and just get a sense of the magic of the album that has been created with all these artists coming together. So we're going to bring on some amazing artists now. We sure are. We are so thrilled to welcome uh, into this event and into this project, um, Jason Mraz and Raining Jane, my Bloomfield, Becky Gephardt, Mona Tavacoli, and Chaska P Potter, who I think Chaska is not with us, but we've got everybody else. <laughs> hey guys. And Hi. Gary. How are Hi. you? Thank you so much for everything for making this uh album possible for lending your hearts your voices your uh presence i mean it's just amazing so thank you yeah thank you for the invite uh, when we got the invitation to see if there was a song inspired by the film fantastic fungi and the mycelium network we thought wow we did just write a song that kind of speaks to this language so i love when it feels like ideas are happening simultaneously all over the world and yeah. they all sort of get invented at the same time or they or it's an idea whose time has come we we always say it's like mycelium that's underground and waiting for the perfect totally. condition yes exactly well and yeah. raining jane actually the the work that you how you even came together was in the spirit of collaboration is that right absolutely um some almost two decades ago <laughs> kind of out of college and um I guess just through wanting to collaborate and make music and do it all independently and, and learn how to do it amongst ourselves and in the world. Um, anyone else want to add to that? I think even just pursuing music as a career is you want to speak a language beyond just the chit chat and the small talk. You want to speak a language even without words. You want to lock in with groove and bass lines. And I mean, I love when you can watch musicians and suddenly they start smiling and looking at each other all in agreement and nothing was said. There's this, there's this undercurrent, this language, this feeling, this emotion that's happening that everyone's locking into. I'm even getting chills right now thinking about it, you guys. It's great. That's what well, this for. And then the movie, the mycelium actually has a feminine voice. And yeah, that's right. And in, in a lot of ways, we look at Mother Nature and nature as the feminine qualities. And I know you're, you know, Raining Jane, you're very much into bringing girls' voices out as well. Is that yeah. right? Yes. We are the founders and the directors of the Rock and Roll Camp for Girls Los Angeles. And the mission of our organization is to empower girls through music. And it's a beautiful, safe, brave space for girls to come together and make some noise, be loud, support each other. Connect. Are you with me? Connect. We're with you. <laughs> to my <city. laughs> And speaking of interconnectedness in mycelium, we have two uh, other people, great friends we'd love to bring on. 
and that's Paul Stamets, uh, whose story is being told in this film and all over the world, and the wonderful director and great friend, director of Fantastic Fungi, Louis Schwartzberg. Hey, guys. Hey, hey Paul. Hey, Louis. Great to see you. Great to be here. Thank yeah. you. Louis, you've, you, you know, you've hit this album, I mean, this album, this film was 13 years in the making, uh, epic. Um, it came out a year ago. It's touched people all over the world. It's now the number one documentary on Apple. It's in the top 10 of all movies. And all of a sudden there's an album inspired by the film and by the mycelial kingdom. How does that feel? It feels wonderful. I mean, it's like these ripples of creative energy that seems to emanate out. So I love the fact that, you know, the film inspired Jason and, you know, Rainy Jane and that, that creative inspiration keeps on, you know, radiating. I mean, Paul inspired me, the mushrooms inspired me, the film is inspiring you, and it's also inspiring hundreds of thousands of people all over the world. So that makes me feel super great, only be, primarily because of the fact that there's recognition from the people, from that there's a movement. And people, the time has come there. for voices to rise up and be heard. Mm -hmm. mm, beautiful. It brings out so many of the the voices um, that are similar. It's almost like that, like you said, you know, like Rainy Jane. Your voice came through the spirit of collaboration, and the spirit of collaboration between you and Jason Mraz, which has happened for a while. This isn't your first collaboration, and and but the in the words in Disco Sun that you wrote have so many connections to a lot of the things that Paul talks about. Mm. And I wanted to see if you could talk a little bit about that and, and Jason too, you know, what's your inspiration with some of these lyrics? Uh, the earth and the great intelligence that she is has been a huge inspiration to us. We've written a number of songs where we honor the earth and sort of dive in through our lyrics and vibe to try to shine a light on that. Um, Back to the Earth being one of them, and and I think in our generation, our f we went from a food pyramid to more this like food circle, mm. and in that circle we get to see how the food system works and how the Earth works and how the soil system works, and now through that continued education, we get to the mycelium network, and as songwriters we write about what's going on in our lives, we write about what we know, we write about what the kind of future we want to live into. So when you discover the magic of what's under the surface of the earth or just living in the ocean of soil beneath our feet, when you discover that magic, as songwriters, we want to share that magic. We want to peel back the veil or the curtain and like introduce others. And then what we find is our audience is already like dialed into that. When we started playing this song live before anyone had heard it, they're applauding the messages uh, that we're singing about along the way. So that just showed me that that there's a lot of amateurs and just soil enthusiasts and fungi enthusiasts out there who are really already doing the work. And then this song comes along and it resonates. That's cool. Paul, I remember we sent you, this was the first track that, uh, that we had from the album and that we sent you. And I remember your reaction, but maybe you can share your thoughts about, uh, about this song and looks like Paul may be frozen with us. He is just speechless. He's spellbound. <laughs> <laughs> we should say that Paul is out on a boat of in course. British Columbia. Yes. Um, That's yeah. where we would expect Paul. We'd expect him to be out in the field, on the fringe, like making new discoveries and uh, leading the way for research and education and awareness, all that. Yeah. yeah, and that is what he's doing. I mean, one, one thing that's been so wonderful with this film and now with the album is is bringing Paul's voice and message and almost like an ambassador from the mushrooms yeah. out into the world. Uh, and that's been so powerful. Yeah. Very cool. Well, go back to the message of the, the song because Disco Sun has, you know, here it comes back up, but Disco Sun has that understanding of like the relationship to mushrooms and relationships that we have to it. Um, interesting. I love this song. It has so many different layers to it. 
Uh, it opens by saying it's solar systematics guiding how we all grow in the direction of the light show. Plants, people, we all grow towards the light. We, we move towards positive ideas. Mm -hmm. um, music has it, that same magnetic lasso that draws us to the window. When we hear right. a great song, we kind of lean to the speaker mm -hmm. or plants will guide their way towards the music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the view's fantastic. Everybody dance into a disco sun. This is a this is almost a nod to Louis' time lapse pioneering. Like when you watch plants in time lapse, they're boogieing, they're dancing. They, the trees may look like they're not moving at all, or a mushroom may not look like it's not moving at all. But you see it in time lapse, and it's yeah. it's got a groove, you know. So that's yeah. what disco sun was for us. Everything is here dancing on the earth. It just kind of dances at a different at a different rhythm. Um, and how romantic that a light that seems so distant reaches all of us. And to me, that's just, that's just that's hope. It's optimism that the sunlight, thank goodness we are an exact, the, the 93 million miles that puts us in the right, right space for life exactly. to, to happen. Right. And, um, and we have, we have one of the great romantics with us. Paul Stamets. Welcome. Hey, Paul, welcome back. Hey, <laughs> Apologies. I'm in a remote Island in British Columbia. And uh, it's a paradise during the pandemic in some ways. Um, but I'm so honored to be with this uh, revolution um, from the underground. This is what's happening. And my life has been dedicated to this. And it's been a struggle. You know, it's been like a lone voice. And to have so many other voices now being a chorus of community to express the urgency of, of um, empowering nature and respecting the ecosystems that give us life at a time critical that we need to reinvest in nature and acknowledge that nature has ultimately not get, only given us life, but gives us our future. And so as citizens on this planet, uh, are we worthy of citizenship? That's the question we should all ask each other and ask our friends. Are we worthy of being a species that survives? And I think that right now the ecosystem is voting. And uh, will we step up to the challenge of being able to be good as citizens on this planet. So it's just so wonderful. It brings tears to my eyes and joy to my heart to realize that this movement now from the underground is truly a, a revolution for the freedom of consciousness. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the consciousness of humans. This is the consciousness of all organisms on this planet. And so I, I think that we're at a time for a paradigm shift, something that Louie and I have talked about and Stephen Marcina we need a paradigm shift. And those who, of you who've known my work, I've been speaking about this pandemic for almost 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. And um, this pandemic is a time for that paradigm shift to be actuated. And I think it's gonna take a revolution of the people rising up you know, from the mycelial underground and from all the connections that they may have intuitively have known, but they actually had not you know, viscerally made that connection. Well, I'm speaking from British Columbia, Stephen Marcino, you're in New York, Louis, you're in California, who knows where everybody else is. Uh, but this is at the, the, the internet of being. And I think it's fundamental to the very foundation of the biology of nature. So I wanna applaud all of you for giving a voice to the mycelium and the connections that we all share. But it is so important that we now uh, activate these solutions. And so we are a time critical moment and we will be judged in history for the, by future generations on our activities now meeting this challenge. We have an opportunity to really make a positive difference. And that means respecting and, and supporting all those citizens that are standing up to protect nature and biodiversity. I believe microdiversity supports biodiversity, biodiversity is biosecurity. And it's time now for us to support the biosecurity and protecting endangered habitats all over the world. Mm -hmm. I have no idea whether that went through or not. It did, all of it, it. I was taking it in. Thank yeah. you for that. Yes, the global shift in consciousness is occurring and will it, will it occur fast enough? Wow. You know, it strikes me, Paul, that uh, that revolutions uh, usually are driven by musicians, by music, right? There's a soundtrack to all revolutions, and uh, and I remember the first track that we sent you for this project 
was a song called Disco Sun by Jason Mraz and Raining Jane. Yeah, it blew me away. And it it was some um, some things you hear musically that strike you to the very core of your being. And you know it's right. You know it's good. You know it's strong. And you know this is it. So um, Jason and Raining Jane, this is, um, I'm so honored that you've picked up the torch and carried it. And I look forward to hearing much more. Awesome. Thank you, Paul. Well, we've we've been friends and collaborators for a long time, and uh, Disco Sun came out of... Uh, we like to sit in a room together and just make music, and the music, we in a way, we just improv the music. So something's been coming through. Uh, certainly, I, I know I can speak for myself, but I guarantee most of us in this band are on some kind of uh, mushroom... Uh, supplement uh, enhancement, etc. And um, you know, do you think that by adding it to our diet in the last couple of years contributes to? Of course, it contributes to the messaging of the song. But there's never mind. I'm answering my own question. <laughs> there's there's yeah. trillions of singers inside of me right now, thanks to you. I, I can <laughs> very. Um, I, I can answer this with great le legitimacy with great uh, strength of science, but at the same time, I have to censor myself. So I'm gonna to tell you a little bit. The recent research that we've had in the past year is absolutely extraordinary in the supporting of these mushrooms increasing neurogenesis, intelligence. Um, we all, you know, know age and the slow slide into de dementia and neuropathies. And uh, neuropathies re represent themselves in so many different forms, from the deadening of feeling to your fingers and your toes, to loss of cognition, loss of memory, loss of athleticism, loss of being able to play a keyboard or string a guitar or be able to sing and memorize and re re uh, remember lyrics from a song. It's fundamental to the core of our being. And the research that we have just recently and extraordinary breakthroughs further supports this um, that these mushrooms in particular not only can help us um, live uh, cognitively um, in a very healthy state, but I believe these increase intelligence. And I'm uh, the the evidence that we have today, and as recently as in the past the past few weeks, and moreover in the past week, we have some extraordinary breakthroughs on the new horizon. So I don't want to say more that I don't want to overpromise to under deliver, but stay tuned. <laughs> Race for impact. We are all, all on the right path here. Um, there's something extraordinary that's, that's right on the corner that I think all of you will find greatly reassuring that that you put your efforts and strength of convictions and talent uh, into this effort because I wake up every morning so excited, so blessed. And I can't believe I am one of the people that's a vehicle of this communication. You know, it's um, mm -hmm. I am one organism in a chorus of a community of organisms that are speaking in unison. But what yeah. these mushrooms have shown me is that this shit it works. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's you know when I go back to the uh, what works and the and the idea of the album is we you know the album's name is reimagine you know, the idea that we need to be able to reimagine the world reimagine what we're doing and the idea that mushrooms can help us as a vehicle in doing that one of the lines that's very clear that louis brings out in the movie with paul is, is what is it going to take to shift the consciousness mm. and the proceeds from this album are going to go to promoting and and being able to make more accessible the the work of psychedelics and other mushrooms as well in, in the medical field, but also uh, actually interweaving, understanding the culture that the mushrooms come from of ancient thousands of years. And so the album is, is inspiring uh, many different artists and, and we appreciate the help with the Kickstarter to get this moving and finalized there. But also do you think we want to um, see if you wouldn't mind performing Disco Sun for us here. Absolutely. I'd be honored. And, and because we're spread out and we wouldn't be able to perform this in sync, I have prepared an instrumental. So um, 
if you will humor me with a song. This is uh, Disco Sun with Raining Jane. Systematics The solar systematics Guiding how we all grow In the direction of a light show Music has it That same magnetic lasso that draws us to the window The view's fantastic Everybody dancing to a disco sun How romantic That a light that seems so distant reaches everyone Love is shining, love igniting Love is blowing up Love is shining Love igniting, love is blowing up Winter, spring, summer too And love, winter, spring, summer too Winter, spring, summer too In love, winter, spring, summer too Fall, you can have it Everything you need is in your own backyard the shrooms are magic Every precious weed knows who you are And their message is massive And the reason they succeed is cause the seeds are so strong It sounds psychoactive But remember you're a flower, turn your power on Turn your power on Love is shining, love igniting Love is blowing up Love is growing, love is what we're sowing, love is blowing up. Winter, spring, summer too, in love. Winter, spring, summer too, in love. Winter, spring, summer too, in love. Winter, spring, summer too, fall in love again. Show me how your garden grows Is it kept or do you let it go? I know that's personal But is it edible? Plentiful, sensual mm, Multi-dimensional You blow my mind like I'm a dandelion In your meadow It's only natural To get down low like an animal Then kiss the ground that you're walking on Cause it's a miracle that we hear it all This mystical, magical, rhythmical, radical we fall in love all the time Winter, spring, summer too In love Winter, spring, summer too In love Winter, spring, summer too In love Winter, spring, summer too Fall in love again And you watch it grow 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 Something like that Yay! Alright! Whoa. All right. 
Jason Mraz and Raining Jane. That was, that was so Thank beautiful. you. Careful. Yes. That was Raining really? Jane on the backing track. And you know what's interesting? Uh, I've got the reverb on. <laughs> is we we chose not to put that the word fall in the final edit uh winter springs summer to fall in love again and i like the idea that f it that we didn't leave it that we didn't include the word because it it makes the listener wonder what's going on with that word in that moment and after watching the film and learning more about how fungi works it's the falling of trees. It's 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 the death that basically falls in love with Earth again to regenerate Earth again. So, oh wow, that's cool. It's this constant yeah. just love eating itself, or or the Ouroboros of the snake eating its own tail. Like mm -hmm. fungi gives us that ability to have the experience of infinity in a way, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And we didn't know that when we were making the song. We just love playing with words. But after watching the film, I, I felt like there was a real significance in the word fall. Um, so yeah. anyway, that was just a recent It's interesting. When, with the mushrooms, like, is it is decomposition the beginning of life or the end of life? Yeah. <laughs> it's both, and, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's the mystery. It's like all connected. And and definitely this idea of the shared you know economy under the ground without greed that wants ecosystems to flourish is the blueprint that's right under our feet that's the model how we can live our lives in harmony with nature i love that you both said that because it took me back to another song on the album and, and all of the voices on the album sort of you know are interweaving as well for us the the voices the lyrics mm -hmm. uh the melodies it's and and one of the first uh conversations we had earlier in the week was with Sam Garrett and Mose and this beautiful song Apsana and the, the lyrics in it talk about the the beginning is the end the end is the beginning mm -hmm. and to land here is is beautiful mm -hmm. wow it's so, so I you know Marcina you know Marcina's talked about one of her favorite lines from the film and one of my favorite lines from the film is uh is Paul Stamets at the end when he says to us all, the interconnectedness of being is who we are. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, um... <laughs> being in the moment, being present, you know, the intersection between art and science is being filled with wonder and awe. And um, yeah, the interconnectedness of being is a beautiful way of describing that energy. Yeah. So I have a question then. What challenges us to not feel connected? Mm -hmm. If we're so mm -hmm. interconnected, what is what is the distractor that, that mm -hmm. makes us experience this illusion of being disconnected? Mm -hmm. I, th well, I think our culture pushes individuality way too much. You know, you got to succeed at this. You're the best kid in the class. Mm -hmm. Growing up, it's all about the individual. You know, the Horatio Alger story, which is part of the fabric of America. And um, the true story of life is the fact that everybody is connected. And also just the whole story in nature of, of the macho story of predator versus prey, survival of the fittest, you know, be on top of the food chain is the opposite story of connection, collaboration, of billions of interactions happening every second in a grain of soil. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so we have to break that idea which I think our culture kind of imposes upon us. And mushrooms are a great way to break that and pull back the veil and help us have a physical and visual experience of that oneness, yeah. which is very, very cool. Losing the ego. Yeah. And we're getting closer to being able to use psychedelics in the medical field. And we're uh, phase three trials and we have maps and USONA and other organizations that are really working to bring these to the forefront because we know in the medical world, I'm my background as a therapist and studying at CIIS for psychedelic therapy. And one of the reasons why we're putting some of the work that in the funds towards moving that forward is because there's such a stigma uh, with the use of substance of psychedelics. And one of the beautiful things about your song even is understanding the incredible benefits that we need to come into a relationship with and change that message and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for taking us on the journey yeah your music yeah. totally does it thank we, you well 
there's we, go ahead Stephen. no i was just going to say jason uh, we we appreciate all that you guys are doing in the world and who you are and your voices and the, the you have this amazing new album out that we really love we were playing it uh, even this morning mm -hmm. look for the good mm -hmm. and it seems to me like you know that's the answer to that question of of how do we how do we recognize our interconnectedness and move beyond that which keeps us separate yeah and really, jane i really love the work that you're doing with the girls and the women and the understanding the the importance of the feminine voice out there and everything that we do and it was great that louie even had the feminine voice as the mm -hmm. mushroom so mm -hmm. i always have a feminine voice meryl yeah. street <laughs> voice of a flower yeah. Every mm -hmm. i do it the only voice yeah. of nature that i hear is the feminine yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. And Paul, thank you for joining us on uh, on your boat. We 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 appreciate you taking the time, and and so much gratitude. Are there you there, Paul? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? We can. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thank you for joining us, Paul, and thank yeah. you for doing the work that is that is transforming the world. It really is. Thank you. Well, no, it is, we are all messengers, mm -hmm. Gaia, truth, and we all say it in a different way. Mm. And what I like is a scientific method support the arts and the artists and the, the, the musicians. And Louis and I, I mean, together really was. Um, created something downstream that could be paradigm shifting in and of itself and helping to save the bees is from Louis's question on Paul, can't you save the bees that spurred me into thinking about bees in hyperspace and coming up with solutions. I think that could say that I, I think I know Jason that, I know. should probably write a song to it right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to help Paul out quickly, but just say that I told him about the bees disappearing. I was working on Wings of Life, and I asked Paul, what can you do to save the bees? And, yeah. you know, Paul took that seriously, and it's pretty amazing that an artist talks to a scientist and says, you need to, we need to save the world. We, the world's food supply is at risk. Do something. And he did. And so <laughs> one never knows where your actions can lead you. So, so with that, and I know but we're, we're losing Paul, but uh, uh, we're, we're, again, we're so grateful for you guys for, for being a part of this project. When we got the track, we knew this album was not only possible, it was going to be magnificent, and it is. We can't wait to share all of the, all of the other songs with you. The album will be out September 18th. We're so grateful that you're on it. We're so grateful that you're out there doing what you're doing. And we know the artists are a really big part of how to reimagine. And when you look at the school system, it's often the arts that are first cut. And yet they're the ones, the part inside of all of us and the part there that can actually work on reimagining. So thank you, Louis, for your artwork and what you've brought, Rainy Jane, for your vision and your spirit of collaboration and Jason for all the music that you write in so many different ways. Um, it's always coming from that yeah. soul and from that heart. Yeah. It is, thanks for that acknowledgement. Yeah, and let's also recognize everybody who's out there, who's a part of this. this I mean, the, the, as you, the art happens, the music happens you know, in community and that there are people out there that care about, about the words that you write and the music that you play and the films that are being made and these messages, uh, you know, as you say in the song, love is blowing up. And uh, we're grateful to everybody out there that's joined in this mycelial network that's uh, making the album possible. It's making the, the message of these mushrooms expand and grow. And, uh, and we will look for the good. We're gonna thank you guys and send people off with uh, the trailer to Fantastic Fungi and to a very special, uh, rendition of Look for the Good from Jason Mraz and Raining Jane. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Marcina. Thanks, Louis. Thank you. My mission is to discover the language of nature, and I believe nature is intelligent.
There is a world under the earth, full of magic and mystery. It holds the consciousness of nature's connection to all living things. You know, these mushrooms, they can heal you, they can feed you, they can kill you. It's not like a vegetable, and it's not like an animal, but it's somewhere in between. They support life, they convert life. As you're walking, there's about 300 miles of fungi under every footstep that you take, and that's all over the world. The bulk of the organism is growing underground, and it's composed of these long threads called a mycelium. Almost everyone knows about the computer internet. The mycelium shares the same network design. It's amazing what we don't know about mushrooms. They really are a frontier of knowledge. You can filter water. You can create medicinal compounds almost on demand. They have incredible capacity to make things change very quickly. So I am super hopeful. The psychedelic members of the mushroom kingdom are fascinating. I have been a guide for around 350 psilocybin sessions. The most glorious part was that it made me feel more comfortable with living because you're not afraid of dying. We need to have a paradigm shift in our consciousness. What will it take to achieve that? We can heal the planet. We can build the future. And our world is fantastic. Look for the good in everything Look for the people who will set your soul free It always seems impossible until it's done Look for the good in everyone Love and light and vibrate 
good Look for the good Everyone gets mad sometimes And maybe they should Look for the good Look for the good Look out for all the heroes in your neighborhood Look for the good Look for the good You know that life sure would be sweeter 